and welcome back to the Quarry Garden. Going back to last November, not long after I started this YouTube channel, the UK was hit by a major storm, which was called Storm Arwen. It's something we talk about an awful lot here in the UK. And it was a one in a hundred year storm with winds well over a hundred miles per hour, a lot of destruction. Um, woodlands totally felled everywhere, particularly in the north here. And we lost trees, just like a lot of people in rural communities. And the two of the trees that we lost up here in the top of the quarry garden was two silver birches, and they were in the spring borders behind this hedge here. And we had the trees taken down at that point because they were quite dangerous, could have fallen onto the house. But we had to wait until the last few days to get the stumps ground out. So the tree surgeons have been now, taken the stumps or removed the tree stumps and a lot of tree roots, and in the last few days, I've been expanding the borders and I'm literally starting again. Oh, a lot of plants were taken out at that point. We lost a lot of plants and I'm putting some plants back, but I'm going to add an awful lot more. So I'm redesigning it and basically starting again. So I thought I'd show you what's gone on in the last week, where I'm up to and what the future holds for the spring borders.
So let me put a clip of the before on the screen and I'll take you down to show you the progress. So just before I go down and show you progress, I thought I'd mention the grass. Look how dead the grass is. No irrigation here at the quarry garden and the grass is really dead. Not much green in it anymore. It's not often I say, I hope it rains soon. That's probably the first time I've ever said that. But anyhow, here we go. This is where I'm up to to date. And I've reshaped all of the um, spring border, or the first spring border. I have removed all of the plants that I wanted to save before the stump grinder did its job. And I expanded the border by two or three feet and it's now just a blank canvas. I've added the graveled area and a bench, which was from somewhere else in the garden, but just wanted to see if I liked it there. Catches the evening sun, so it's quite a nice place to sit. Not that gardeners like myself ever sit in the garden. I don't know about you, but I tend just to sit down for a minute, see a job and get up again. But anyhow, plans are to work through this section of the spring border, remove anything that needs to be taken out, most of it will stay. There's some sections I want to change, but the shrubs will remain. And then it's planning to add what's next. All along this bank side up here, all the way along here, are spring bulbs, daffodils and other spring bulbs. So that will stay as it is. And the second spring border, the other side of the bench seat, that, um, down here that will be the next um, job on the list in the autumn time so I'll go through I'll work through that um, a lot of shrubs need trimming and I, I need to basically tidy it up remove some things that are past their sell-by date don't look too good but it happens in every border that's been established for a few years you take a look at what's doing well and what isn't so that's the next job on the list but that will be in the autumn time but for now, I'm going to add some cyclamen behind this bench. So let me move the bench out of the way and I'll show you what I've been doing there. So the first plants that I'm adding back into these spring borders are the Pulmonoria Trevi Fountain and these um, cyclamen Hedrofloreum. Look at those flowers, how dainty are they? Aren't they gorgeous? And I've chosen the white variety. Um, you can get pinky purpley colours but I wanted white to contrast with this lovely pulmonoria because I love the leaves on these obviously this won't flower till the spring but these cyclamen they flower in the um, late summer to early autumn time and the flowers come first and you can tell on those that I've already had these were all in the trees that were taken out so I've dug them all up and replanted them here the flowers come first, they'll last for anything up to a month depending on the weather conditions that you have and then the leaves will follow and the leaves will last anything up to five, six months right through the winter and they give a lovely contrast next to snowdrops when they come through and then eventually they'll disappear into the ground only to appear this time of year again with the flowers. These ones here are in leaf and flower because these are ones I've bought from the garden centre and I'm going to add those today. Now the conditions that they like are very dry conditions, they don't need any fertiliser, you can buy them as tubers, but I've only ever bought them as young plants, like these from the garden centre, and they do spread, because I've got them all over this garden, and they can spread by ants and insects who carry away the seeds in the seed pods. Um, they love to be amongst the tree roots in sort of a, a good shaded spot, they wouldn't like to be in full sun. So they should really enjoy, and they do enjoy the conditions here because I've had them for a good few years. So I'm hoping eventually to get a mass of them all the way around here. And I think it'll look lovely. So any soil conditions they seem to sort of um, survive in. They do like an awful lot of leaf mould, which I've mixed in with the soil. I haven't added any extra compost. It's just basically the soil in the ground, which is certainly not good here under all these trees, but they do like that. They love that. And you just basically add it and again as much leaf mould as you can find they will survive without it don't worry if you haven't got it but if you can add it they do seem to like it and that's basically it 
nothing complicated about them. Very um, simple. Plant them and they'll just look after themselves. You don't really have to do anything else to them after that. Um, other than maybe add a bit leaf mould in the springtime. But aren't they gorgeous? I just love them. I can't wait for them to spread. The only thing I'll say is it does take a good few years to actually spread them around or get them to spread around themselves. It doesn't happen overnight. It's quite a slow process and it's took me a good few years for them to spread everywhere. But it's the first step forward in the spring borders and I'm excited for how they're going to look at the end of the day. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.